Hello and good morning. Uh, today I want to show you how to place a handrail that is based on these standard details. All these parameters are already set in my advanced steel connection ball. So I will show you how I place in a platform access to an equipment so the handrail will be on the stairs and this side here and this side first i will place the handrail in the stairs i've already set where I will place my first column right here because of the connection, the plate connection, side mounted plate connection in order not to clash with anything in there. So to start, I will place handrail in this stringer and this stringer here start point is at end point here and to the midpoint of that stringer in there you know the uh, the, the detail is that the uh, angle post is side mounted and this and my libraries for handrail C200 is currently placed at the middle of the stringer. That would be the in, in, in which we are, uh, we have to change the offset in order to go to the side in here 70 millimeter for c200 you need 70 millimeter away from the middle so that you will have a gap between this edge of the channel and the edge of the handrail post so you are given this Post here also you will be modifying the, the location in here you want this to be covered by this handrail with the top rail so you want your post to be 32 millimeter away in advanced still at corners like this it gives you two the second post uh, two posts in here. Let's say we put back one at minus 100 and the third one which we will blow away later we put at 400 and this one here also I wanted that to be around 32 or minus 50 millimeter away in that so that I will show you the reason why and by the way uh, all these parameters in here are already set the sizes the top uh, of uh, the, the location of the top rail mid rails and etc are all based on that uh, detail that I've just shown you in here so all those are all set in the connection bolt. And I want to show you why I moved that uh, handrail post to where it is now. So that when I place the post connection here to this stringer, it will be away from this bolt here that's why I moved this 50 millimeter away from this area here 
now let me take away the equipment for now now i can since i wanted to modify this and take away one of the posts in there i will be blowing away this uh, connect uh, this box here intelligent box and delete one of the posts because it, it, they're too close together you can delete the welds as well associated with that post And extend this to reach uh, to reach this uh, post here. Now, since uh, you want that to be the same as the other side in here, just make a mirror of the same handrails. There you go. Oh. I didn't, I wasn't able to get the mid rail and the kicker plate. So again, I will be mirroring everything, including the kick plate this. and the mid rail here There you go. That would be the handrail for the stairs. Now, I would like to put a handrail from here, from here to here. So same thing, handrail command and selecting the beam connection start with the midpoint of the beam to the other side of the beam again it gives you it located at the middle of the beam so you have to offset that by 70 millimeter to move it away from there and moving the columns the, the post away from that by 32 millimeter because you will see that this will not connect in here so you have to move that away by 50, around 50 millimeter to make way for a 10, 10 millimeter plate connection like 50 for the first post second post is okay third post here uh, we don't want a post right through the corner so we put that at the back around 150 or 100 
again it's a corner so it it gives you another one that you can also move forward 150 for now but you can delete it later that's uh, handrail post number four there you go you can blow away one of them after five is good six seven eight and then the nine since you can see that you can you are able to connect it from there you can leave it as it is right now so that's your layout and you can blow away whatever you want in here you either take away this or this one uh, i prefer to delete this post in here together with the intellig uh, the weld there you go the next one the remaining part here is this one I put this around the start point at in order not to clash with the stair post the first post should be hundred and fifty millimeter away from the center of the stringer so by placing that starting oh, it always starts uh, uh, the placements always uh, clockwise direction for uh, handrails same thing at 70 millimeter offset first pose uh, to make this covered uh, 32 and the end at minus 32 let's check if there's a place to connect yes we're free to connect a plate in here side mounted plate so now we have the handrails on the platforms and stairs what i do next is to place the side mounted plate connection in which it is show like this i also have made that up parameters as a railing post connection And to place that, you just have to select the support and pressing the column, clicking the column. That would give you the side mounted plate connection as shown in the detail. So just have to do it in all or uh, make a copy it's up to you but for presentation I just want to click them one by one here see no clashes we're good there there you go we'll see how far that is to the stair connection it's good 
I think we're good. There's enough space there. You can make a copy, but right now I'm just showing one by one here on how quickly you can make, you can put the connection for the post, handrail post, side mounted. These are the parameters for that uh, side mounted. Distance from top is 178. Uh, plate thickness 10. Plate length is 124. Plate width is 156. With a 80 millimeter bolt distance. Yeah, so these are all from the standard details. Let's see if there a space to weld this one. It's good. So that's how I place handrails. Uh, how, how I detail handrails on a platform. Thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you have questions, just uh, drop a message and we'll get back to you if I know the answer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.